Yo, how you doing? You alright? You know, I was just thinking about um, UK music, yeah. Um, one of the things that I don't like about UK music, and I guess where the direction of this video is going, is like, um, I don't like the way, I don't like the way it's just set up to be like rappers, like just gangsters in the street, everybody's shot in cocaine, and if you don't know, like, if you're not like, up to date with like rap street terminology, which if you're watching this video, you should be in it. I'm not gonna lie because you already understand. But shotting is basically selling drugs because you're like shooting them off, you're shotting. I, I, I think, I don't know. Even me, I'm not 100% fucking clued up on this shit. But basically, one of the things that I don't like about UK music, yeah, today and the industries that's been promoted, even though there's a lot of artists, rappers, and when I say UK music industry, UK rap music industries, even though there are a lot of artists or some artists, probably I'll say some rappers who don't talk about drug dealing and they're somewhat successful, I still feel the most popular ones, they get drawn in to feeling like they have to be about their niche. And one of the things that I don't like about that is because well, rap music is usually associated with black people. Okay, cool. You got white people who listen to it. If you're white watching this video, you probably understand exactly what I mean. I mean, and in fact, you probably will understand this a bit better. Because if you're white and you have like a black friend, more more, more likely or not, that white, that black friend, I mean, is not into that lifestyle. That's, that's the thing is crazy. It's like... UK rap is that's all it is. I have to wear black track suits and I'm a rapper, so if you don't understand the frustration is and if you ever tried to be into rap, you probably felt like where do I start? Why no one's gonna be interested in my story. I'm not a drug dealer, I'm not fucking Al Chapo and all this stupid shit. Like it's it's stupid. And the reason why I say it's stupid because yeah, some of these artists, yeah, that's their stories, but most people like myself don't relate to that. When I grew up as a young child, I was a geek. I am a geek. I like reading books. You know what I'm saying? When I was young, all I did was read books. That's all I did. I read books. I studied. I love watching scientific channels. Oh, my neck's click my neck there, but I love scientific channels. You know what I mean? I, I love learning. I actually wanted to be a scientist when I was younger, then I got more creative and, you know, here I am today. But I don't understand, like, what's what's this thing that UK rap industries are promoting? I don't understand it. And, you know, when I grew up, now, when I grew up, I was a very energetic child. I was, again, like most black people, I would say more black America stereotype because most black British people have fathers actually now because you got more the nigerians and you got the african cultures coming in they're very again patriarchal and they have found fathers but if you had to like relate my story to like a lot of black americans i was like that uh, i didn't have my father around my father was alive and you know he wasn't in that street life but at the same time it affected me but at the same time i don't relate to going out in the streets or having my friends or fa you know my family or drug dealing, I don't relate to that, and I'll be honest, I don't, I don't relate to that. Now, as I got older, I did get influenced by it, you know, a little bit, and you know, poverty. You do think about it. I know everyone's think thought about some, especially if you're a rapper, you probably thought about some dark shit when you're poor. But the reality is, like, this doesn't really pay out well because, well, what's the cost? The cost is my energy, my time. So. One of the things I got frustrated with was like, I wasn't, I didn't feel represented enough. I didn't feel like I had a sense of belonging. I didn't feel like in the UK rap music industry, I, I had a sense of feeling like I belong, you know, it, it's lonely. It, it hurts me, you know, and I know there's a lot of people out there that relate to that. It's, it's lonely. And it's actually one of the things that inspired me to make music because how I grew up, you know, like I said before, I was a geek. I read books. You know, I had smart friends. I used to... I Let me tell you a story. When I was young, all I used to do was play RuneScape. I was a 
addict. When I say addict, I was an addicted gamer. All I did was play RuneScape. I used to go to school when, and you know, which is secondary school. And if you are American, it's basically high school. All I did was go to school, and I remember just being so excited to to go home to play RuneScape. And at the time, I had my football friends where I used to play football. My friends I used to grow up in primary school, and we was all very to tight and closely knitted together. But I also have my gamer friends where um, I used to go home after being around them and I used to, you know, game. And it was like so fun. I, I used to love gaming. I used to play RuneScape like for hours, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Like that's all I did. I watched videos. Uh, and actually, actually, I was playing RuneScape. Now I just remembered I was actually playing RuneScape. During, I think, as I got older in secondary school and I had my first computer, I mean primary school. So fri primary school, I think it's like called foundation school in America. Someone let me know. but And then I did that into secondary school. And then we started to level up to like Call of Duty. But back to the point, all I used to do was I used to be excited to go home. And we wanted to make our own... We got to the point where we wanted to make our own private service. We wanted to actually have people on our game... And for those who was truly into RuneScape, you probably understand what a private server was. It was basically being able to do things and have hacks and powers and be able to level up accounts that other people couldn't do. And we wanted to be the host of our own game and people look up to us because we was like, you know, like it was like a, it was like the real world. I managed to get to like a level 115, I think, or something like that. Like I think I went really high and my friend, he got, I think, level 200, something like that. 300, I think so you can get to level 300 all I know he went fucking high and he used to we used to hack people's accounts we used to like go who was like robbers man in the back of the game like we used to like get people to give up their passwords and stuff and say we'll give them uh powers and all this stupid shit and we'll level up the account so as you can see like I grew up sheltered quite a sheltered lifestyle because you know I was the only child and you know um most of the time I didn't feel like like I could relate to my friends and most of my friends had fathers which is you know which is interesting um I had an international group of friends I had white friends Albanian friends Romanian friends Pakistani friends friends from the UK friends from the Caribbean like myself and friends also who were mixed race so I had like a multi international f group of friends which is which is normal in the UK it's normal it's like a normal thing um and I just, we just never had that lifestyle. I looked up to like YouTubers. I looked up to gaming YouTubers, especially about RuneScape and memes and funny videos. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, you're watching this right now. You probably understand how how I feel, and you probably listen to people like KFC because it's that it's that thing. Most I think a lot of black people are misrepresented in music, and it's just like I don't think that's cool in my personal opinion i just think it's like most people are just copying this layout that they think is successful and they're just running with it but if you look at like the music industry as a whole internationally it's like bruv like like it's international for a reason because it relates to a lot of people like it's big you've got the the gothic the emo sad trend you've got the geeks the internet the gamers you've got you know, the Kendrick Lamar's, J. Cole, people are just deep and introspective. You've got so much vast amount of music out there. It's like, I feel like I didn't, as a UK, I didn't get to have that feeling of somebody who looks like me and speaks the same language as me, which is why I think a lot of black people in the UK, and this is not to be pol like to be like completely polarizing like to other races, but other races of my friends, I watched them be able to relate to the musicians and be a really fan of of musicians who spoke who spoke to them. You know, my white friends who were like my skater friends as well. Because uh, I had a lot of friends. I, I like I mixed with different groups. Um, and they're not my friends today. Well, you know, some of them are, but we kind of grew our separate distances. They're not my close friends, is better word. But they had their their songs to relate to, and it's like he's talking to me. You know what I'm saying? But when I grew up. I didn't really get that because we listened to like American music and 
you know it's it's very like destabilizing because it's like you feel like you don't relate to anybody and i really felt like an outsider when i was younger because you know i was the only child i was the only person in my friendship group that didn't actually see his father the father my father didn't have a relationship with me so i was on the outside i didn't have anyone to relate to i didn't have anyone even music to relate to so i i end up falling into gaming and i end up falling into um just being inside all the time um I don't really relate to the streets thing. And I imagine a lot of people who's on the streets probably relate to this as well, to a degree. Um, and obviously they just do it. A lot of people, all these rappers just lie because it's like, it makes money. But at the same time, it's like, music is a bit more than just rapping and flexing. It's about being able to speak to people. And I just believe that a lot of black people in the UK Especially like you know, and it's not a race thing, um, because I think you know other races might be able to relate to me who's born in this country. There's probably people who's Indian who don't have anyone who speaks the same accent as them um, be able to look up, or even if they don't, let's say they're like second generation born UK Indian, then you, I don't know if you might be able to learn the language, or if you, your parents spoke the language, you might not be able to relate either so i think there's a lot of people who's not just black but other races as well like who don't relate but for me as a black person speaking as myself i just felt like i didn't i couldn't relate and that's kind of one of the reasons why i had to make music that i relate to and you know i talk about my experiences i guess it's kind of like if you had to compare it a bit of like j cole but reality is it's like it needs to compare like you know to me my lifestyle and so other people like myself can relate to it and that's one of the reasons why I did music because it gave me a voice to express myself in a way that I felt like I couldn't be lonely anymore which is quite deep you know and as a lonely child you get quite lonely you know um but I do believe that as a black person in this country even if you have siblings I probably guess that you will be quite lonely too you know working class is this this lifestyle the reality is like no 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 enough of that I'm, I'm tired of hearing that it's a movement and it's actually one of the reasons why i got a bit of success and i stood out a little bit in music because it's like nah like nah like that's not my story i'm not gonna be stereotyped like that in the streets i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna fall for this i'm not gonna just be some sort of porn or uh you know image like nah nah we're not doing that you know what I'm saying? And if you're with me, you, you, you feel the same way, which is why I'm now making, which is actually the reason why I became a musician, because it's like, yeah, like, nah, like, nah, like, there's there's more, there's more people out here. There's way more. There's, the world is way bigger than that. I don't, to be honest with you, most people aren't on the streets like that because it's such a small niche, you know? If you had to talk business terms, there's a niche. It's like, <laughs> it's like that's such a small minority of people that's shown as the majority of people and it's just no no that's not true and I think America went through this as well with their music industries like the rap music rap music industry everyone's like okay gangster rap is the new wave but as you can tell people get tired of that because they're like no we don't relate to that you know so that's just how I see UK music and I think a lot of artists if they're not on board with this trend they're gonna r quickly realize that they're becoming too late to change their ways you know what i mean it's like bro like we, we since coronavirus we moved into a digital age now so let's be real like most people aren't going to relate to that especially the new younger generation they're not going to relate to that as much as there's a gaming, you know, a whole gaming society is big. You know what I'm saying? It's big. And if you're not, like, just my t-shirt. If you're not catching on to this, if you're not catching on to this, I think, you, I think you're a bit slow. But, again, I'm making music and, you know, there's so many people just like me. Uh, not to make this video long because I'm starting to go off a bit on a circle. Sorry. But, you know what I mean? Like, 
for me, I have to make music because I want to see a new movement. I want to see a new culture. I want to see a new culture that's been emerging. And shout out to those who actually are doing it, like Lil Sims, Santan Dave, Skepta, you know, um, Lancey Fox, if I'm saying your name right. I'm sorry if I'm not saying your name right. Um, shout out to those few. Who else? Slow Tie. Yeah, Slow Tie. Shout out to Slow Tie. Mm, who else? Who else am I missing? I'm missing quite a few people. Uh, Nox. Shout out to Nox because, you know what I mean? Like, they're making it, at least changing it. Um, but music is very difficult to get people to change their views. But I've spoken to so many fans of music and they're like, no, like, we don't, we know, we just listen to the people we relate to. Um, you know, it may not even be in that country. And I just think that's not good because the music industry is like, there's so many followers. Uh, I'm sick of followers, you know. And that's kind of the reason why I make music. And, you know, I'm 24 now. And one of my insecurities was not being able to be young enough to capture the attention of music. But now I realize it's like, no, that's that's not true too. Um, You know, I game. So I think a lot of people will be able to relate and I talk to my younger, I'm going to, I rap for my younger self. So, you know, we're going to see a new culture soon, you know. So, yeah. Follow me if you want or not. It's up to you.